A roller coaster car crosses the top of a circular loop, loop de loop, at twice the critical speed. What is the ratio of the normal force to the gravitational force? All right. So we're going to start by drawing a picture. Hoop, circle. And we're going to have a car. Hoop. And the idea of the critical speed here is the, um, uh, we want the car to move exactly to the left and the normal force is going to equal zero. So to do that, we're going to say that if we draw a picture of this car over here, we're going to have just the force due to gravity. I'm pulling it down. Uh, no, usually there's a normal force also pushing down on it, but if it's just barely touching the track, normal force is zero. The idea of the critical speed in a loop-de-loop, -loop, not that critical speed was invented for loop-de-loops, it's just kind of the general concept, spinning in a circle. So force gravity, and since force gravity is the only force, Newton's uh, second law, second law, mass equals, uh, force equals mass times acceleration, put a little C here, so we know that it's centripetal acceleration. You don't need the C, I mostly just enjoy it. And so solving for uh, the velocity here, we'll say velocity squared, it's supposed to be divided. Centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. V squared is going to be, um, oh, and force gravity is mass times gravity. So we'll use that, use that. We have, I'll rewrite this just to make it a little bit more clear. Mass gravity equals mv squared over r. r is radius, m's cancel. And we find that velocity squared equals uh, g times r. Therefore, critical velocity equals square root of g times r. r is radius. I know sometimes you use a big R, sometimes you use a small, doesn't matter, same idea. So we want to know the ratio of the normal force to gravity when we are twice the critical speed. All right. So now we're going to redraw this picture. So we have the same picture over here with, um, that's the direction of motion, the little V there, so we know that it's the motion. We're going to have force gravity going down, and now we're also going to have a force normal going down, because the first time we did critical speed with no normal force, but now it's a little bit faster. And so from here, we're going to say, let's see, uh, I'll do gray. The, since the force is going to act in the same direction, the sum of all forces is going to be force gravity plus force normal, which is going to be mass times acceleration which we know is going to be m v squared over r. So rearranging this, we're going to say uh, force gravity, which we know is mass times gravity, plus force normal, mystery force, equals, we want to find the ratio of normal force to gravitational force, is m v squared over r, which I'm just going to write as m over r right now. So we know that this is the critical speed, or yes, critical speed. So doubling that, we have um, so now we have two v. Yes. So this is going to be two v equals two times the square root of so twice the speed, which is going to be the same as 2 times square root of g over r. Squaring both sides, we're going to get, so this is going to be v nu. So the v nu, our double speed, is going to be 4 v nu squared, 4 gravity times uh, radius. So I'll do this over here. This is going to be the v nu squared, which is going to be 2 times the old v, which is 2 times square root of g over r, square root, get 4 g r. I know I could have probably done that in a cleaner, less messy way, but such is life. 
All right, so now we get the equation, mass times gravity, which is force gravity, plus force normal, equals M4GR, R is cancel, rewriting this, we get mass times gravity, plus force normal, equals four mass times gravity, subtract, uh, rearrange it, because force normal equals four mass gravities minus one mass gravity, give us three mass gravities. This mass gravity right here is going to be the force due to gravity, so F, G. Rearranging that, we get force normal over force gravity equals three. Bam, there we go. So let's see if that's a possible answer, which would be nice if it is. Right here. N, I'm going to assume that's normal force over force of gravity equals 3. Hope that helped. See you next time.